Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's look, this is what we're doing. Okay, it's an everyday makeup look, something that's very easy to do, no matter what level of makeup you're on. So if you are interested in finding out how I created this look, go ahead and watch this video. super excited to do this look for you guys today. I will be using a Morphe 350 palette. I love this palette because one, it's affordable, it's great quality for the price, and it's very user friendly. So the 350 palette, I dropped a little translucent powder on it, so don't judge me, okay? But. This um, palette is very neutral. It has a lot of warm tones, a couple cool tones. It's just overall a very user-friendly and beautiful palette. It's been one of my favorites and staples over the past few years. So I've already done my brows. I'm ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and start by prepping my lids. And I will be using Tarte Shape Tape's um, concealer. And I'm just going to use that to go ahead and prep my lids. Alright guys, so for the translucent powder, I go ahead and use Anastasia's Vanilla Loose Setting Powder. Now you're going to want to set your eyes before you actually start on the eyeshadow because if you don't, your eyeshadow will start creasing and you'll look crazy by the time you end your day. Alright guys, now to begin, I will be starting by getting our transition color. This doesn't have to look perfect for when you're first putting it on. Really, we just are putting it down for the color to appear and be like, hello, I'm here. Oh, did you see that little rind? All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and use this color right over here in the palette. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe E22. Oh, <laughs> this way, dummy. go ahead and get our second color. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M433 brush and I'm just going to grab this orange tone on the top of the palette. I love orange tones and that's what I like to do. You could go for something more neutral if that's what you like but I like something that's going to make my eyes pop. It makes my eye color pop as well so that's what I'm going to go with and I'm just going to go in start building it underneath of that shade that we just put in. Damn watery eye. I'm not going to pick up any additional product. I'm going to go in with that last brush that we just used and just kind of re-blend, making sure we're not leaving harsh lines. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that first lash. Alright, 
So there's your first Shop Hoppin eyelash. Now I did forget a step because I got sidetracked because my camera stopped recording. But I always like to apply a little bit of eyeliner just right in between um, your lash, your, I don't know what it's called, your upper inner eyelid? No. So by doing this, it'll just make the lashes and your natural lashes blend in more. It is definitely uncomfortable to do, but gives you better results. Okay. My eyes already getting watery. My eyes are being extra watery today. They just don't feel like cooperating that much. I personally have never been able to apply lashes with like tweezers or like that little tool that helps you. I've always just used my hands. It's just easier for me. Um, but if you're more com comfortable using that, please go ahead. I'm just comfortable with my hands. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do this step before I put my lashes on. And I'm just using a regular CoverGirl eyeliner. Alright, now that that's done, I'm just going to go ahead and apply a very light line of eyeliner on my lash line. Why do I keep calling it my lash line? My water line. Just very lightly. Go ahead and apply a little eyeshadow underneath that. Make your eye pop. Get it popping. Get it popping. I'm just gonna go in with that first transition color that we used first. Why do we do that when we're like working underneath or putting mascara on our lids? We're like, <laughs> so ugly. Right next, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with that first orange shade that we used. And don't worry about like it looking crazy right now because once we put on our face, it'll be easier to clean it all up. All right, next I'm just gonna go in with some mascara and do my bottom lashes. Now that our eyes are done, we're going to go ahead and move into the face. This is what's really going to help put your look together and make you feel like, okay, you got it, girl. You got it. Alright. So I already moisturized my face before this because your girl is drier than the Saharan Desert. And I just used Clinique's Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I can't say that this moisturizer is my favorite. I bought it not knowing that it's actually more for wavy skin. I know, but I was going on vacation and I just needed a moisturizer, so this is what I got. Um, so once I find a moisturizer that I truly like, I will go ahead and show you guys that. I've always pretty much used an Olay moisturizer with some SPF in it. I live in Vegas, so it's always, especially in the summertime, sunny and hot here. so. 
it's really important to protect your skin especially if it's in the sun or if you live somewhere really hot you want to make sure your skin don't get crusty okay so now that I went ahead and moisturized I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Smashbox original photo finish primer this is honestly one of my favorite primers um, I like this this primer and I also like their moisturizing primer they both work well on me and I feel like it really makes my makeup last long I'm just gonna go ahead and dab my face and massage it in we'll let that dry and set for a minute I will be using Maybelline's foundation, the Superstay foundation, and I am the shade 115. My bottle don't look cute, okay? It's the Maybelline Superstay foundation and I'm in the shade 115. I'm just going to go ahead and warm that up on the back of my hand as my primer is setting. I see how it's this color really has made my eyes pop. It's a really simple look. We only used three colors. We only used three brushes to blend all this out. So this look is super easy, like I said, for any level of makeup that you're on. It's very doable. It's not dramatic, at least not to me, because for me it's really hard to just look natural or do natural looks because I'm just, like I said, I'm extra. So, okay. Now that we went ahead and... Let the primer set. I'm just going to go in and with my fingers distribute the foundation. Everyone applies their foundation differently. This is just how I do it. It's what works for me. I like this foundation because it's very buildable, it, it's high coverage, and even though I do have dry skin and this is a matte foundation, it really doesn't feel like it dries up my skin anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in with Smashbox Primer Water and spray my face a little bit just to moisturize it a bit as I finish blending out the foundation. I like to do this stuff just to make sure that I am setting in the foundation and it lets my skin breathe a little. Now that we're looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost, we're going to go ahead and grab our concealer to go ahead and highlight our face. I like to use Maybelline's Age Re Instant Age Rewinder. I honestly feel like it's the best concealer out in the drugstore. Category. E43 brush, take your powder brush. Now that 
we set our face, we're gonna go ahead and warm our face up with some bronzer. That way we're not still looking like Casper the Friendly Ghost. I'm just gonna go in with my Morphe R4 brush. Now when I'm putting my bronzer on, I don't lift my brush up and keep brushing back and forth. That's just going to cause you to look patchy. If you want a smoother look and for it to be really defined and for the placement of the product to be more precise, what I do is I go ahead and I grab the product and I go ahead and just keep the brush on my face and I keep moving it but I don't lift my brush up. to kind of make it look like even though I'm really pale I like to look like I have a natural tan now we're gonna go ahead I love blush you don't have to add blush but I feel like blush makes you look a little more natural and not just like bronzy and super kicked up. I feel like the blush makes you look a little more flushed, a little more natural, like you got some color on you. Now I'm going to be using NARS Orgasm Blush. This one's my absolute favorite. It's a beautiful flushed color pink and it has a little shimmer in it. So like I said, I like to shine. I like anything shimmery, so I'm all about it. Now you're going to want to apply on the apples of your cheeks and just kind of bring the product blending it upwards with your bronzer. It's going to blend your makeup better and it's just going to give you a more natural look. Alright. Oh, I forgot to contour our nose. So obviously you want our nose to look nice and snatched. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Morphe G41 brush to go ahead and snatch our nose. And I like to start at the bridge of where my eyebrow starts. right now because of like I said I have super dry skin so don't judge what's going on there okay it's looking like a little bit patchy a little snake moment Snatched. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my beauty blender and with the um, translucent powder and I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my contour make sure my cheeks are nice and sharp go ahead and clean up my nose contour to make it really sharp and precise.
Go ahead and take that same tapered brush that I used to apply my translucent powder. And I'm just gonna kind of, not just wipe it off, but kind of press it in. Now's my favorite part. We're gonna shine bright like a diamond. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray that primer water that I used before to kind of wet my face again. Any moisture on my face, and my face is like. Thank you, Lord. I'm gonna go ahead and use Dose of Colors. Mirame, mirame. This was a, the first Dose of Colors collab with Desi and Katie, and I still have it, and I still love it to this day. So we set down that foundation for the shimmer in, in the inner highlight and the brow bone. We're going to go ahead and go in with that same highlighter that we just used. Now to complete the look, we're just going to go ahead and apply our lips. I'm going to use ColourPop's lip liner. It it's one from the I Love Set IE collection. I can't remember the exact name right now, but this has been a staple for my makeup the past few years. I love this lip liner. I just, it's like my go-to every day. I'm just gonna go ahead and line my lips. gloss that I like from Victoria's Secret that a dear client of mine gave me and I love it. Yes, my I don't really have full lips if you guys weren't able to notice so this gives kind of the illusion of me having those fuller lips that I wish I had. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this look. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as I am new to YouTube and I'm looking forward to bringing you guys much, much more content. I am a hairstylist as well, so I'm looking forward to bringing you guys some hair videos as well as makeup and other things that I have in mind and in store for you guys. Mm -hmm.